Welcome back, everybody, to another Falcon Friday. So here we are with issue 12, and we've been killing it so far. So let's see what we got going on here. So this one's going to go over the YT-1300 FP, which is the mixed transport and cargo hauler. FP for freight and personnel. Roll and pitch and yaw. Important to know if you're going to fly the Falcon for sure. And uh, Coruscant locations, always good to know. And more Coruscant stuff. Our next parts, so our next parts are right here. Let's see what we got going on. So we have some of the the hull. We have some more screws, a bunch more screws. Um, this will be part of the interior as well. We have some frame pieces. All right, let's get the screws out of the road here. So many screws. All right, let's set this stuff off to the side. We have one of the, uh, what do we call these? Uh, radial stiffening ribs. We have a rib and we have the connector for the rib. And the screws to hold all that together. All right, so let's see what we're going to be doing this month. Ooh, so we are going to be putting together this frame. Let's see. Um, this is 15, so we got 15. And is this 12? Uh, which one is this one? Yeah, this is 12. Okay, so 15 and 12 going to be like that. All right. So we're going to be putting these on and then we got to get those others that we got in some of the previous issues. So I'm going to go get all those put together. Get all the screws and all the stuff that we need, a couple of the stiffening ribs. I mean, all this stuff came in the previous issues and stuff. And uh, I'll get all that and we'll put this together. So this should be a nice quick little episode. All right. Catch you back in a minute. Okay, we're back. So here we are with all the parts. And like I said, we're going to be using a lot of parts from uh, a lot of the previous issues. So interesting thing about this piece, and I, I know this from watching others, this part goes into the, the there's a center ring that will go around for the, where the uh, gun turrets are. And so that part fits into there. So it's kind of cool. So you'll get to see what kind of get an idea of for the size. This will be like a slice of pizza. <laughs> so, all right. So first thing we're going to do is um, we're going to put the rib on this piece here. So the pieces we have are 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Okay. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. All right, then we have two sets of ribs with two of the joiners and a bunch of screws, and then two of these pieces. These, these little pieces here. Just set that anywhere. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So we might as well use up some of these screws out of the bag, right? They gave them to us for a reason. Might as well use them. So we have a bunch of these screws we're going to need, and we've got a whole bunch there too. We've got a couple bags here, so we're going to be using maybe all of these. We'll find out. Get rid of these bags. Pardon my reach. Okay. So we are going to be starting putting this rib on this piece here. So let's go ahead our screw and the rib goes on the top on top of it so we can kind of get the first screw started and then we'll move on to the second screw maybe this will be the only screws that we won't we won't care if this thing's magnetized maybe I don't know all right so here we go 
And one of the things I've learned in all my years, never tighten a screw up all the way until you get all of them uh, going. So and then it's got us putting this one on here. So we're going to go side by side. go another one and this one here yep there we go all right now we'll join this piece so we'll go ahead and put uh screw here in this corner and in this corner fighting out of the silver is the frame all right so then we're going to put this piece on so this is going to go pretty quick i don't even have time to be bored So, I'm curious, I was talking with Eric, uh, some of you guys know him as Slacker, I was talking with Eric about the potential of doing a kind of a uh, Star Wars conversation where we talk about some of the stuff uh, out of these magazines, I've got a couple of the uh, Star Wars encyclopedia things and that kind of stuff and, and uh we just kind of talk about a lot of the stuff out of there, maybe doing a live stream with something like that. Curious how many people would like to see something like that. So uh, go ahead and, and let me know if you guys would be interested in that, and it'll be something that we can try to put together, find out who all would be interested in joining me for that and whatnot, and uh, we kind of go from there. So uh, just let me know. Uh, in the comments, and um, I'd be more than happy to try to get some of that put together. Joining the ribs, okay, so the ribs would go together like this, okay, and then that's when we use these gold screws. Get these cut out, cut it, cut it out. That's right, I just did that. Alright. So, what we're going to do is, let's go ahead and put, I don't know, one of these sides has threads and one doesn't, I believe. Okay, so, the this side here does not have threads, this side does. Okay, so that's... Important to note because you want to have the threads on after you put it all the way through, right? Of course, it helps if you get it, get it in there. Need some lube for that. Okay. Good lord! Now I've seen other people having problems with this. Let's try this. Let's try this. Did I somehow drop this or something? I did. No wonder it wasn't going on there. This is the side with no threads. I got it flipped around. What a goofball. Alright. Let's try this again. This time without the oops. Yes, yes, without the oops. Somebody tell me what movie that's from. If my good buddy John Rogers, who I used to play uh, Star Wars The Old Republic, is watching this video, he'll know exactly what it's from. He and I used to do that all the time. He is in the Navy, so, you know, he's one of those guys out there defending the country and, 
and as a fellow service member, a former service member myself, I appreciate everything he's doing, so I'm just going to throw that out there. So, hey, John, if you happen to watch this, tell me you know what that's from. For everybody else, go ahead and post it in the comments. If I remember, I'll, uh, I'll give you the answer uh, in uh, next week's video or something. Uh, well, that is, if I don't uh, record these well in advance, which I have done some of them. So if I do that, then I won't be able to see you in next week's. I won't get the answer out to you in next week's video. It's from a very well-known movie, and I could give you some hints, but that takes away all the fun. Um, so, yeah, just let me know if you know what that's from. Let's try that again, this time without the oops. Yes, yes, without the oops. Something we used to say whenever we used to raid a lot and uh star wars the old republic and if we'd wipe on the boss we, you know especially if somebody kind of messed up that was kind of one of the things we would say sometimes so yeah adds a little fun to things how many people i know a lot of the people watching these videos are gamers but uh how many people in the audience have played or are currently playing Star Wars The Old Republic. Not Knights of the Old Republic, Star Wars The Old Republic, the MMO. So I played that game for probably close to six years. And uh, I thought I played it a lot longer, but Bioware, EA, in their infinite wisdom, we, you know, if you played an MMO for long enough, you don't want to do the daily grind anymore. Which is one of the things for those people that are playing the, uh, that are playing, uh, what do you call it, uh, 76 or have played 76. You know what I'm talking about, right? You, you just, you're tired of doing the grind, all that kind of stuff, right? Well, imagine doing that grind for like five years. Well, in their infinite wisdom, they went two years without giving any new, uh, at least two years. I don't know when the last time was they actually updated it, but they went like over two years essentially um, without doing any uh, new raids and you know, no new operations. Well, those of us that had been playing the game and were essentially at what you call the end game, right? Here we are. All we want to do is raids. Well, considering we had done every raid, some of them on hard, some of them on nightmare, uh, but we'd done every one of them, and uh, we were losing interest in a hurry to keep repeating the same stuff over and over, and especially because, you know, we, we could only raid once or twice a week at the most because... You know, we had to do it when other people were there. And uh, I need one more black screw. Um, <laughs> in their infinite wisdom, they weren't, you know, it had been two years since they'd come out with a new one. And they had announced that they weren't planning a new one for like the next six or nine months or at least. And that was like the straw that broke the camel's back. Like myself and just a bunch of other people were like, all right, bye. And we just stopped playing all together. So, all right, so we got those ones done. All right, and we're putting that one on. Don't touch your face, COVID. All right, so let's put this one together. We can put this one together outside of uh, putting it on, I think. Yep, okay. So let's get this rib put together. And I just got to keep an eye on the camera here because battery's getting low, very low. It would not be good to have the battery go dead while I'm finishing this up. So,
The good news is we're almost done here. The bad news is we're almost done here, and you guys have had to listen to me talk the whole time because this has gone so easily that uh, um, we, I haven't done any kind of, or at least as of right now, I haven't done any kind of uh, speed up with music or anything like that, you know, so... Uh, Who's to say I won't do that in editing because maybe I'll get tired of hearing my own voice. But right now we're only looking at just over 15 minutes for this video. So uh, this may end up being one of the shortest videos I have, have done or will do. I don't know. Get these tight. Tight's tight. Too tight's broken, they say. Know who they are. All right, so this one is done. And then the question is, do we put this on here? Um, yes. The answer is yes. So I need a total of five screws. Good thing we have this storage bin of extra screws. All right, so I'm just gonna. This one started up here. All right. And then, so something I want to make sure I show you guys on this after I get this put together, it'll become very clear the shape of this here after a minute. So, one of the things I think, if I recall, when you put this frame together, you do it in sections, and then you attach the sections together. So, one of the reasons for that, I'll show you. Put this last screw in and tighten them down. Um, Alright, so uh, all these are on. There we go. All right, so if you look, this thing rocks. I don't know if you'll be able to see this very well. Uh, kind of hard to tell, but it's it's uh, kind of a conve convex uh, type of thing. So when it all goes together, minus the holes and the irregularities, it's kind of a parabola, uh, a parabola, if you will. So yeah, so it doesn't sit flat. That's why you put them together in sections, because by the time you're done, it's going to be sitting up like this when it's all kind of on there together. So, And then the next thing is it tells you to put the hall plates on. I'm not going to uh, do that just yet because I'm not going to attach them. So, uh, yeah, I don't even want to to mess with that at all, really. We can kind of see how it goes. Uh, like this. So we can kind of... There we go. It's going to go something... We got these bigger holes, I think. These go in there. I don't think they actually fit down inside. I don't know. I thought they do. I'll have to look into that. No, they don't. It's not going to fit right on solid on there. This part is kind of solid there, though. Alright, so we have this piece. What other pieces do we have here? Uh, this piece. Let's go underneath like this. Let's do this. All 
There we go. So this goes on like that. So these are actually pressing in, if you can see that. So these are pressing in there. All right. Boom. Uh, I don't know which pieces these are. Um, yeah, this piece goes here. I don't know if you guys can hear that upstairs. Well, it's upstairs for me and not for you. It's just background sound. My wife and daughter are watching a movie. I think they're watching The Hobbit, the first one. And uh, pretty loud. So you have to get pretty aggressive with these things. So that's one of the reasons why I'm not going to get these on. Plus, I'm going to paint all these. And so I don't really want to put them on just so I can take them all back off. But it looks like there's only th the three pieces that you were going to put on for this one. So, something like that. Um, but yeah, that's what it would end up looking like. That's what the hull will start looking like. So, like I said, I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the underside to do it very much like this, you know, black to help block out the lights because there are gonna be landing lights and stuff like that on the hull. And I wanna make sure that those are those don't bleed through on the sides and stuff, very much like what we saw with uh, the thing going to the cockpit. So um, that's why I'm going to paint these hull pieces black. So there we go. That is the end of issue 12. Uh, that's it. So next issue, we're going to get some more hull pieces, uh, the frame, and... Uh, more of the, the actual plating. We're going to get these uh, these big tubes and some supports, looks like. I don't know if those are more tubes or ribs or what those are, and some screws. So we'll see how that goes on the next one. All right, well, this video is going to be less than 25 minutes. There you go. Hope you enjoyed. Make sure you comment down there if you know that movie that I quoted and if you would be interested in watching or participating in a kind of uh, actual canon type discussion where we talk about things throughout these magazines and some of the Star Wars encyclopedias and stuff that I have. So uh, let me know in the comments and I'll catch you in the next one. May the force be with you. Always. Mm -hmm.